this point, it doesn't even matter if the audience finds it funny because I find it hysterical. Three o'clock on the dot, we're live. Yeah. What is time? It's three o'clock somewhere. We need a drum set, that's for sure. I had that on my phone on. last week. Okay, we're on. You've been on. You didn't really like it. Ten seconds. You can trust Kev's key when he says you're on. We are. Yeah, we can. <laughs> These days. Oh, are you introducing us? No. He didn't like that. Okay. You should in. Oh. Who are you and what are we doing? We are on Philbot Live. What's Philbot? Oh boy. We have a peanut gallery today. We do. This is Tyler. I'm Jeremy. This is Philbot Live. And we make equipment. Machines? Extruders. But we make more than extruders. What's the overarching... Processing hardware for plastic. We make that. But here on Philbot Live, we talk about things that maybe you find interesting. And today... Stuff we find interesting. That's for sure. Yeah. Today we're talking about golf balls. And how to arrange them. So here, here's the thing. We learned recently, thanks to Chantel, who's over there and not on camera, that um, a lot of these end up in the ocean. <laughs> like yeah. a stupid number. It was, I was like, how have I not thought of that, right? We've <laughs> None of us have a, thought about that. And that's, we've, all, we've all seen like, what, Happy Gilmore when a, a ball goes in the water and it, right. I just, I never thought about it. And they sink. And then they're in there. Because no one goes in to get them. Right. These little golf balls. And the reason, so Chantel found the article of, what was her name? Oh, Alex sorry. Weber. Alex Weber. It was a piece on Vice News. Great video. and, and in the, Really good video. In and this video, you see she's, she's in the water collecting these golf balls like that are just rolling around on these rocks and getting yeah. worn down and broken down. Yeah, it, it is utterly incredible what's going on. And as of the video, which was from earlier this year, not that... I think it was 2018. Yeah, it was definitely this yeah. year, but it wasn't that long ago. She had collected 50,000 and she'd sorted them into, I want to say it was five I categories so. based on the amount that they had degraded. And Color and like physical wear yeah. on the on the ball. Yeah, so, so we've got... Kevin, I don't know if... Now is an pick this okay up, time that you want to zoom in. Um, you know, we, on Monday, we went to a driving range. We went to CCB. I think we should, yeah. Okay. Too late. Okay. Too late. So we went, we went to a driving range and, and we had some golf balls just to get some, some footage and, um, talk about the problem. See and, what the and, hype was on golfing. Yeah, and we're gonna put together some video. <laughs> My no, neck hurts from golfing still. Because you were golfing so wrong, it was it was out of control. <laughs> uh, let's just say there is footage that will never air because it's it's so wrong of you and swinging, swinging a golf club. I need some practice. And then we ended up driving the wrong way on the greens or on the fairways. So to those few golfers that were hey, on the greens, hey, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. We respect your sport. Sorry. Just keep the golf balls out of the water. Right. All right. So here's, here's the scope of the problem. 500 million golf balls every year made in the U.S. Or for the U.S. Okay. We, didn't, we didn't get worldwide statistics. Okay. Yet. Of that 500 million, approximately 300 million are lost. That's crazy. Every year. How long have golf balls been made of plastic? Oh, that's yeah, that's a great point. 40 plus years? 40 plus I years. I don't remember golf balls not looking like this. I don't either. Which, but that brings us to an important point. Golf balls were made from something else before. They were. Apparently, from Wired, uh, well, that's the reference we're using, they were made from compressed goose feathers yeah. and leather. <laughs> Why goose feathers? <laughs> that's... How, how do they make, how do they do the leather part? I don't Why know. the goose feathers? I don't even care about the leather. That makes sense. Tennis balls, basketballs, footballs, soccer balls. They're all like encased in leather. Yeah. Or were at one point. I don't know. But none of them are stuffed with goose feathers. The only thing I'm aware of that's stuffed with goose feathers is like a, like a jacket. Would you rather to keep you be warm? Duck, duck, goose. I took it. Okay. Okay. Sidebar. Yes. 
So I grew up in Maine. Not- I grew up in Maine. And there's a, a wildlife park. Mm. Maine Wildlife Park used to be called a gray game farm. And most of what they do is rehabilitate animals from the wild. It's, it's, it's kind of zoo-ish, but you don't have to feel terrible about it because the animals, they can be rehabbed and okay. released are. I have a photo from one day there with two ducks and a goose standing next to them. It's probably the favorite photo I've ever taken. Nice. It's, I love it. <laughs> I try to share with people and I can't speak because I laugh at it so hard. <laughs> I'm like, look, and they just, and they don't, some of them get it. They and those it. people were my friends and other people don't get it. And then they don't talk to me anymore. That's the, that's the test. Right. A duck, duck, goose. So anyways, back to goose feathers. We don't know why, but at some point, I'm going to switch to a different type of plastic. I had that name down. It was uh, trans poly polyus oprene. It's a long word. It's really, yeah. But it's a plastic. It's a plastic. So we switched to plastic and then we got to the modern golf ball. Right. which is even more plastic, more additives. I mean, it's just more of bad things going right. into, I mean, the ocean. It's breaking down on microparticles and... I think it's safe to say, so if we're talking, and, and, and this is a number that we didn't find any data on, so I'm completely speculating, a little bit of an interpolation here. We're talking billions. We're talking billions. Really? Yeah. Every year? No, no, just overall. Right. Well, I'm overall, loss, every year right? there's that million. There's the so it's 300 million. Obviously, all of them aren't going in the ocean. Some of them are going to be in the trees. Some of them are going to, you know, go in and go for a hole. Yeah. Some of them go for, you know, bad Caddyshack remakes. Some of them get cut by a lawnmower. The greens, or right. not the greens mower, right. but the. But along the ocean, is. right? There's a lot of golf courses there, and they've been there for decades. And right. So we're ta- we're talking about a problem that. And this initially good... seems very small, but when you consider the scope, it's a big deal. And one of the things that was really interesting in that video was just based on some of the things that you could see. I mean, there, there, were, there was a great example of being able to kind of date mm. the degradation. There, yeah. there was a ball. You want to talk about that one? You know the, what I'm at thinking the, about. At the very end? Yeah. So Yeah, so at the very end... Um, we should quickly take another side note and mention that all different golf balls are made different ways. Sure. And one of the, like, uh, Alex is going through the different stages of degradation and where yeah. she gets to the end and she like, she just goes like this and like, it's all rubber bands and it's all yeah. like, like rubber is a very flexible, we all have touched a rubber band before. Mm-hmm. So like that doesn't really break down. And I believe that kind of stays in that rubber band form. And to me, that's like, that's really harm, damaging and harming to a, a marine animal. Yeah. Compared to like a microplastic when, when these are rubbing together or rubbing on the rocks in the water. Um, yeah, that rubber band, that was crazy. It was like boom, 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 and then whoa. That actually wasn't the one I was thinking of. It was, oh. it was the one. So there, she had one example golf ball that had a really interesting stamp on it. And it was, it was Donald Trump. And it said POTUS. Oh. So we, we, we had an idea of when that ball was hidden because, you know, we know how long he's been oh, president. Oh, it was worn down. Right. And yeah. it, was, it was worn down. So, you know, again, it's just one ball, but it gives you an example of, you know, after only at most a couple years, mm. that golf ball had seen significant enough, you know, detectable wear. Right. And then here we go across however many. Right. And then, you know, those plastics build up, they go into plants, they go into animals, they, they chase up the food chain, just like with heavy metals, right. you know, the concern with, say, mercury and, and fish and things like that. Well, there, so that's how one of the ways plastic is made is we use a metal to uh, catalyze as a catalyst, right? right? And because the metal, you don't need, like, it's a minimal, minimal amount that the metal is still in the plastic. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't take the metal out to reuse it. It would probably, it costs more to do right. that. So they just leave it in. So this plastic has that catalyst in it. Mm, I didn't know that. Yeah, and it's crazy. I mean, the names of these metals I had like never heard before. Uh, different alloys, different mixtures. So uh, so it's even worse than I thought. Yeah, there's metal in oh, it. Oh, sweet. It's, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, and that's the other thing is like the golf balls we see that are cut open here, they're pretty similar, right? They're that blue. But when we were doing our research for this topic, we found there's a great, uh, we should put that link in. We may or may not put this link in, but there's yeah. a great post of this photographer who had went through and cut Killer open pictures. a bunch of different golf balls. 
and there's a bunch of different mixtures and different additives and different fillers that are inside these golf balls right. and you know that's the selling point of that brand to perform differently than another ball right? right i mean the the goal of a golf ball is to be able to hit it and make it go as far as possible in a straight line in a straight line right um so everybody's i mean that's that's the natural kind of progression right. and growth of a golf ball is that it started with the goose feathers and leather and now it's it's to these really complicated complex golf balls that you see today um if it was still goose feathers and leather we wouldn't be talking about we this problem we wouldn't and you know what honestly we'd be going in to recover them there'd, Would be, we? there'd be nets or something yeah because i'm sure back then the amount of hand time going in to making them oh, okay. was significant that the cost would have been a lot higher. but but the like the environmental impact of leather and goose feather into the water next is, to zero right compared to what we have now going in certainly there. zero compared to this right uh, we do have a blog post. We should let everybody know it's available at philbot.com. And we did post that is live now, correct? Yep. And uh, maybe we do have links to the video, and maybe we'll get the link to those photos up there because they're, they're super cool photos. They're really interesting. And it's, you know, we're not really bashing golf. It's more of that. We're not bashing golf. We just didn't know that this problem it, existed. It, and it's one of those little things that's just right. like, wow, like this adds up. Right. To, to me, the compelling piece here is, is kind of th multi-factor. One, I'd never considered this problem. This is a problem that exists. It's existed yeah. for decades, and the scope is pretty massive. And it's growing. It's Gro growing. Golf is what, growing at like 20%, I think, around 20%? There were certain segments. There were some interesting okay. statistics that we looked at from the PGA. But then the other piece for me that's really compelling is that we know where these are. They're pretty easy to find. Easier we're, than a plastic bag floating in the ocean. Right. The golf ball isn't going to travel that much. Right. And we're, whether we're talking about prevention or recovery, it's not nearly as complex as just about every other problem we have with pollution. Right. Because I think we can classify this as pollution. Yeah. I mean, at what point does like us hitting this into the woods count as littering? Right? Because a, a shopping bag, if you accidentally lose a shopping bag, but then you hit this golf ball, and this golf ball weighs more than that shopping bag. There's more, there's more to it, absolutely. So it's a very interesting conundrum. So this Alex Weber, her solution it kind of seems to be twofold. It's let's start digging the golf balls out of the ocean, and she's done a ton of that, right? Yeah. 50,000 of them, 50,100 by the end of the video, <laughs> something like that. She had crossed the 50,000 mark during the footage. And then legislation that says golf courses have to recover their golf balls. Yep. And whether that's, you know, I don't, you know, you know, what would be interesting would, I wonder if the um, deposit system like we have on cans would, would work for this. That would, that would be fascinating because it's such a tangible thing. Right. You know, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20, I don't, I know golf balls aren't cheap. No, they're not. These are like a dollar fifty. For a ball? Yeah. Wow. So you could easily throw a dime, 15 cents on that. But they're worn down, but then we're saved, like we're not littering. But if it's a deposit, right, somebody goes in and, and mm. they, they pull them out of the ocean, I mean, that'd be... That'd also, be... if it's a quick recovery, if it's not sitting in there for months, it's got to be worn down. Right. Right. If, if, they're, if they're recovered soon, you know, they could be reusable. I, I think there's a, there would actually be a interesting mm. secondary economy. I'm pretty openly a free market economist, I like to see. Golf things balls. like that happen i'm not a, generally a fan of legislating the solution but it know, makes sense some, and yeah it's, it's kind of like I one of those some, things some that for sure like you were saying it's right there that we can you know if that legislation passed it would help so we hope it passes we hope there's a solution too what other things like this are there i don't know what else that's are we of... what else are we missing you know it's, that that's that's the eye-opening thing is that there are problems of significant scope that are tangibly solvable mm. with current technology, minimal labor, minimal economic impact. Yeah, and what, what other are sports are there? What other pursuit dumps crap in the ocean? <laughs> but I would never have even thought of this, so. It was a great find. Great find. We got anybody chiming in? No? 
That's okay. No golfers. Or they're all golfers. And they're, they're all like, golfers. We're not they're so mad at us. That's right right right. because we started on time and it's too unexpected for anyone. Mm. <laughs> so what we need to do is burn like 10 minutes just throwing golf balls around the, Four. the shop. <laughs> um, that, that Mitch Hedberg quote. I was playing golf. And in golf, when you hit the ball near somebody, you're supposed to yell four. But I was too busy mumbling. There's no way that's going to hit him. <laughs> that's a good one. Show love the, show love the golf balls more. Because I didn't really get that much of a shot of it. I meant the inside. Like, what is that stuff? I think plastic. It's plastic. Ish. These ones. The texture is really interesting, though, because it's so. It's like gritty. Yeah, it almost it. It's got to be some mineral they're mixing in. If you told me that that was some derivative of concrete, I would believe you. Hmm. I don't think it is. It's that but hard. Just, just yeah, that texture on it and that that firm. These you it's know really weird. These are really common, like similar filled golf balls. Yeah. I was hoping for. I was hoping we would get like. But we're not that deep into them. I wonder if there's something on else. That one is. Wow. Well, yeah. No, I mean there could still be a, a, a core That's true. in there that we're not seeing. We did not run these through heavy machinery to cut them up. We ran them through a lawnmower. Well, we didn't. We did Somebody not. Somebody else Someone did. Someone did. This must, you know, when when you hit these, like when you hit a dog toy mowing, they make such a loud noise, and golf balls make an even louder noise. I bet, <laughs> I bet golf courses have to have special blades, special decks on their mowers, so you don't. You Didn't you do that? Yeah, we didn't have special. No, no, I don't think you. It's kind of just dents it and like, not oh, well, dents it, but give up. Scares the scares you. Ah, wakes you up. I was just thinking about how the that operation actually is like breaking them down faster. It could be making it part of a problem like the uh, the aquatic life we saw at the golf course. Mm. Oh, the turtles. Like, sure, it's a pond, and it's not you know. There's no waves bashing it on rocks, so the golf balls probably don't actually break down there, but what about the pieces that get right. thrown in with the mower? Right. <laughs> Poor turtles. Poor turtles. And whatever eats the turtles. What eats turtles? Turtle soup is good. Kevin. Kevin doesn't eat all of the turtles, though. I think he would try. <laughs> Okay, now we're talking about Kevin's eating habits on Philbot Live. I think we're ready to wrap hey, it up. I, I think that's that's a great point. So check out that blog post at philbot.com. If there's a topic you want us to cover, don't hesitate to reach out. Contact at philbot.com or you can go ahead and get to us at social media. We are at philbot and we do these just slightly after 3 Around p.m. 3. every Thursday. Eastern Standard Eastern Time. Eastern U.S. Time. And please remember to turn on notifications. Yeah, subscribe, notify, share with your friends. And don't be afraid to join us live and chime in in the chat. We'd love to hear from you. Anything Ooh. else? Do we, get, we got one comment. Uh, Jason said he will be getting his EX2 delivered today. So Yay! Sweet. Sweet. Your golf balls. Oh. Yeah, that's, well, that's... Another... Don't drop these in the hopper either. There's, it just, I think it would bounce, wouldn't it? It would, it would try to yeah, grind it in, would. it would pop out. Oh, is that latex based? I don't think so. I don't think so. The outside? Does it melt? I don't know if the center is. Yeah, uh, it should. That'd be a cool thing to test out when the grinder is done. Mm. That'll be a true test of the grinder. True <laughs> test. <laughs> okay, now we go into the 30 seconds of banter. This whole thing was 30 seconds of banter. Times. There a was bunch. a lot of banter. That's fine. I enjoy the banter. That was good. If we're not having fun, nobody else is going to have fun. That's true. We have to have fun doing this. There's no fireworks like last time. Oh. Bummer. Um, my new favorite show, AP Bio hmm. on NBC. Seriously. I've not heard of it. It's hysterical. Did you ever see Community? Anybody? I'm a big Community fan. Closest thing I've seen to Community. Ooh. That's high praise. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm trying to put the golf balls back together. I don't think it's going to work. I don't know where that one goes. Oh, this is a cool one. Kevin? Kevin? Get out of here.
Chantel did this. <laughs> Good job, Chantel. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Wit's gone. <laughs>